Hello everyone. Welcome to Evels Tech. Today we are going to discuss about last known good configuration and how does it work. So every time you boot your OS, it looks for the following registry key under HKEY local machine. That is HKEY local machine system select and under this key there are four reg d word values that is current default failed and last known good the number in front of these values referenced to the control set 001 control set 002 in this case control set 00x under h key local machine system okay now before we proceed further let's understand what are these values current current is used to boot the system the current system that is up and running is booted using this value that is control set 001 default it is the one to be used next time or rather every time when you boot the OS unless the machine fails to boot for some unknown reason so every time you boot the machine your OS will check the select key will check the value for the default will see the value 1 and then will load the control set 001 failed failed here is the last value that was for current or rather the last value that failed to boot and last known good is 2 this indicates the one which was known to let the system boot correctly using the last known good configuration last known good or LKGC is the clone of the good registry that is created every time when the machine boots successfully Remember, it will also be current or default plus 1. In this case, current is 1 and last known good is 2. That is 1 plus 1, 2. In this, in our case, the current is 1, default is 1, failed is 0, last known good is 2. As this is a fresh OS and did not experience any failed boot, so the current and the default values are 1. Since it did not experience or it did not fail to boot even once, the value for the failed remains 0. And as mentioned earlier, LKGC will always be the clone of the good hive and is created every time the machine boots successfully. So in this case, current and default uh, clone is created and stored under last known good so if you see here control set 002 this is the last known good configuration will be and this will be selected next time when you select LKGC right um, when we say default okay um, what does it mean so it means the OS will select control set 001 as mentioned earlier it will go to select it will check the default and value 1 okay and it will boot the control set 001 every time as long as the default value is 1 okay if the default value changes let's say it becomes 2 it will select control set 002 and will load the services that are listed under the services key in the control set 002 so it works this way OS boots during boot it will first load HKLM HKLM that is HK local machine okay and then check for the default value under the system and under the select key whatever the value default has it will select that control X I'm sorry it will select that control set and boot the OS so as mentioned earlier if the services under this control set uh, has some problem okay in that case the OS will fail to boot and will prompt you or rather it will display the advanced boot options and give you the choice to select one of the options from them many options like safe mode safe mode with networking 
disable driver signature enforcement last known good configuration and there are many other uh, options available under advanced boot so depending upon the choice you make the consent registry key is selected to boot the OS for now let's now discuss about the other options that are available under the advanced boot and let's focus on the LKGC okay so uh, please note down these values current is 1 default is 1 failed is 0 LKGC is 2 and the two hives that we have under system is control set 001 and control set 002 to see how it works I will reboot my Windows Server 2008 R2 using advanced boot option restart hit F8 after the post I select last known good configuration hit enter all right let's see what happens to the control set values and to the values under the select key so I will open the registry again HK local machine system control set if you notice a new control set key is cloned from the last known good configuration and set as default and current let me show that to you select last known good was previously 2 now it is 3 and a new key control set 003 is created failed is set to the value of the previous current or default it was 1 that has been set to failed last known good is again the value is the newly created key 3 here and the current and default values so the previously last known good configuration uh, values has been set to current and default so as of now the OS has booted using the control set 002 1 is the previous default that is in the fail state and 3 is a newly created key for last known good configuration to understand more let's reboot the system again select last one good configuration advance again so if you notice the new control set key is cloned again from the last known good key at key local machine system and control set 004 scroll down to select last known good is 4 and a new key control set 004 is created here failed is set to 2 2 was the previous value of current and default current is set to 3 this was our previous last known good value and last known good configuration has a new value 4 that is newly created again now um, to see how the OS reuse this number okay I will reboot my OS again using LKGC for the one last time I select last known good configuration again I will open the registry again 
under HK Local Machine system a new control set is created a new control set 001 is created instead of control set 005 and this is how the OS will reuse the number from 1, 2, 3, 4 if I scroll down further select you see current is 4 that was the value of our previous last known good default is 4 failed is set to 3 which was the value of previous default and current and last known good is the new key again which has value 1 and that is created here okay um, that is all for now I hope I was able to help you understand how LKGC works when machine fails to boot normally however in case if you still have any questions please feel free to comment and thank you for watching the video and have a great time ahead. Yes, please do subscribe. Thank you again.